Hey folks and welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, I am going to be making another PS5 VRR video. Now in case you're wondering, why on earth am I making a PS5 VRR video when I've already made a few? In fact, if you haven't already seen my Spider-Man or Miles Morales Spider-Man or Godfall's videos on PS5 VRR, then do check them out before you finally start viewing this one. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because of the fact that a lot of games are still not officially supporting PS5 VRR. Now PS5 and PlayStation on the official blog on their website released a list of games which officially support PS5 VRR. But there are still games which you can play with the PS5 VRR turned on, meaning that it's supposedly kind of pushing PS5 VRR onto these games and that may impact the game's performance either positively or negatively even. Because I've read some Reddit comments where um, some users on their televisions or on their monitors, they are also experiencing like blank screens or black screens, etc. So how does my Samsung AU9070 fare with the PlayStation 5 VRR turned on? Now, for the sake of this video, I'm again going to head over to the settings. I'm going to head over to screen and video, and I'm going to show you that my PS5 VRR is actually turned on. Now here, I've also turned this particular option on. So the toggle is on. And here it says that apply to unsupported games. Now, these unsupported games means that, you know, they're not officially supported. So there is no official patch by the developer themselves. And I'm going to show you a few games. And what it does is it, it says turn on VRR even for PS5 games that don't support it. This may improve video quality for some games. Turn this off if you experience unexpected behavior during gameplay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to games like that exactly. All right. So let's say, for instance, my PS5 is now turned on, right? So if I head over to, let's say, my... Sorry for the sound. I'm just going to head over here. Here it says, you see, none of the games are on. So that's why it does not say VRR is on here. All right. Because I haven't really started any of the games. All the applications are closed right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Cyberpunk. All right. That's the first game that I'm going to show you that works with PS5 VRR. Not officially because this is not an official patch by CDPR. So it's not a patch that they released stating that Cyberpunk 2077 now supports PS5 VRR. All right. I'm just going to reduce the uh, audio here because it's coming straight out of my television right now. All right. Okay, I'm going to switch over to my stereo audio there. But um, what I'm going to show you is this. Please pay attention to this section. Now, you see how it originally stated when none of the games were running in the background, it stated that the VRR was not on. But as soon as I put Cyberpunk 2077 on, now the television information itself states that it's 3840 into 2160 VRR is working. Now, another place on your Samsung television where you can actually check that VRR is actually working on this game is the settings panel here. It says game mode is on and the VRR is also on. Now, when I turn VRR off from Sony's screen and video settings, this VRR will not show up here. Now that is how I can confirm that my Samsung AU9070 is supporting PlayStation 5's VRR despite of being an HDMI 2.0, by the way, all right? Because PS5's VRR supposedly is working on televisions with HDMI 2.1. Now the Samsung AU9070 is not an HDMI 2.1, it's an HDMI 2.0, but it is capable of running 1080p, 120Hz, and it also supports VRR. Now this VRR is running on my Samsung AU9070. How does this impact the game? I'm sorry about, you know, some background noise coming over. You know, somebody's just kind of knocking on a few things here or there. I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, let's head over to the game now. The new gen update or the next gen update completely removed the uh, long load times. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the um, game panel where it shows me the FPS counter. Now, what I noticed is, I don't know what settings am I on. Let's head over to the uh, 
video settings i am on the quality mode so on the quality mode it's showing me 59 fps all right and that's even when i'm driving around in the city okay so it's a solid 59 i haven't noticed any drops here now the next gen update on cyberpunk 2077 was really good especially if you were playing this on playstation 5 it, it gives you the best of both worlds, meaning visual fidelity as well as those high frame rates. Unfortunately, your Xbox Series S, which is my other go-to console, um, is locked at only 30 FPS. That's a bummer. But hey, what if I turn over the game settings to performance mode? Does that have any kind of an impact on this? Now, VRR is still turned on. And it's still a solid 59. By the way, if you're playing Cyberpunk on your PlayStation 5, this is the mode that you should actually play this game on because it is silky, buttery smooth on this particular mode. Oopsie, enemy territory, run, 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 Lola, run. <laughs> okay, not the place where you should be at. So Cyberpunk 2077, not officially supported according to Sony. On their website and i'm going to put that link in the dis description box as well so that you can actually check that information out all right okay so now that we have checked this game out like this what i can do is i can head over to let's say screen and video and i'm going to turn the vrr off okay completely off you see how the screen refreshed and uh oopsie this is my Samsung television. Head over to play, playing uh, Cyberpunk again. Police warrant issued. Well, alrighty then. Unfortunately, let's continue. No worries. Okay, now let's bring up the game panel again. All right. So here it says 60 FPS. Obviously, because this is a 60 hertz panel. All right. So that's exactly what it will show me so even if the game was running at 30 fps on my xbox for instance it would sh still show say about 60 fps here because it's a 60 hertz panel the vrr is not turned on all right and uh, let me just pause this let me head over to that settings you see i'm still on the game mode but the vrr does not show up because i've turned it off from screen and video options on my playstation 5 all right now, even when I click on this information here, there is no VRR mentioned here anymore. So that is definitely a difference. And my personal experience looking at this content straight from up front, um, <clears throat> I would say not much of a difference. But here's where, you know, you would find a difference. You would find a difference in a game like Tales of Rise, for instance. But before I head there, let me also show you whether... It works with Grand Theft Auto or not. Now, again, this is not on that list of games that officially support PS5 VRR, but unofficially, you could say this is supporting it because um, what I'm doing is, I think the PS5 VRR is off. So let me just head over to screen and video options again and turn it on. Okay, so here I go again. This is pushing PS5's VRR even to games which are unofficially supported. So this is not an official patch either by CDPR or even by Grand Theft Auto. But let's see what it says in my TV information here. Here it again states VRR. You see how it's come up again? And now when I head over to this section here, it again says VRR here. So, this shows me that VRR is actually running there. And let's, over to, let's head over to this particular panel. It's solid 59, even on this. All right. Th this is pretty cool, you know. I mean, the, the optimization of this game. This is the next-gen version. And um, the next-gen version, what your DualSense controllers can actually benefit from is... If you're getting a call, you get it straight on your controller, you know, that's really cool. <laughs> it kind of rings there. You can hear the person speaking from your DualSense controllers. And um, yeah, as far as 
sorry, I digressed, but heading back over to uh, the frame rates, it's a solid 59, even in this game. All right, no dips, nothing whatsoever. And uh, yeah, this game looks good. I think, you know, there have been noticeable changes. Noticeable meaning, you know, there's been change in maybe a little bit on the motion blur side of things. And this game definitely looks sharp on the PlayStation 5. So this is with the PS5 VRR turned on. That's what it shows. And um, yeah, let's head over to some other game now. So in case you're wondering, Grand Theft Auto, does it push VRR over to Grand Theft Auto? Yes, it does. But here's the thing. Some games completely do not show VRR working. All right, so Horizon, for instance. Let's head over to this game. Before I finally head over to Tales of Rise, which is going to be my final game that I'm going to talk about for this particular video. But Horizon Zero Dawn now, you see how the information here does not show VRR at all. So I don't know if the VRR is even being pushed or not, or the VRR is completely not working with Horizon Forbidden West. Oh, sorry, or Zero Dawn in this case. So Horizon Zero Dawn, no, nada. It is not working. All right. And this, I believe, is the PlayStation 4 version. So maybe, you know, that's why it's not working on this. That could be a reason because VRR does not work with PS4. So I'm guessing that it's not working with Horizon Zero Dawn simply because of the fact that this is a PS4 version that I have. Yeah, you see that? That's a PS4 version. Now let's head over to a game like WWE. Now let's bring that up. Okay, again, not on the list of games that are supported. All right, but here it says that the VRR is running. And even if I bring this panel up here, it says it's, it's running because it's 59, showing 59, right? So even on this, it seems to be working. Let me head over here. It says VRR, yeah? Now I'm gonna jump right out of it because I'm finally heading over to Tales of Arise. Now the reason why I wanted to talk about Tales of Arise, number one, fantastic game. If you haven't already played this one, you should. I mean, it's such an amazing story that they actually tell through this video game. So Tales of Arise, I'm a big fan now. I've been playing this and I've really been enjoying this game. Now, the reason why I'm talking about it is because this game has an unlocked frame rate, even in their quality mode. So on the quality mode, it's supposed to be running at 4K on your PlayStation 5, but um, the frame rates are not locked at 30 FPS or not locked at 60 FPS on the quality mode. On the performance mode, obviously, it is locked at 60 FPS and um, it, it is running at 1440p. But I'm playing this game on the quality mode, just for reference. Now, VRR is turned on, all right? And it shows VRR is working even from this panel here, as you can see. And now I'm heading over to the game panel. And here you can see that because it's an unlocked frame rate, you see how it's dipping to the 40s as well. And um, it's even heading over to the high 50s, like 52, 55. So, and this game looks gorgeous, by the way. I mean, it's such a beautifully designed game. And um, if you are into animes, if you're a fan of cartoons, then I'm sure you're going to enjoy this game. It has a lot to offer in terms of gameplay, in terms of uh, the complexities of being an RPG, in terms of the storytelling, brilliant game. But again, I digressed. Let me come back to the FPS. I don't know if you've been noticing the FPS counter. So that is what it shows when I play this game on the quality mode. Now, what if I head over to these settings? Oh. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> All right, let's head over to uh, the frame rate mode. All right, so here I'm prioritizing frame rate, as you can see. Oh no! All right, save and go back. Do you wish to apply these changes? Of course I do. Yes. And now I'm gonna head back over into the gameplay. I'm gonna pull up this counter now. It says a solid 59. You see how it says a solid 59? No more dips. No more dipping down to the 40 FPS. And let me tell you, you know, when you game when you game on a game like this, or when you play a game like this, 
with your VRR turned on, I think you're actually going to enjoy this game on the quality mode because of the narrative element and also because of the fact that it's unlocked, right? I mean, a game like this, it's got unlocked frame rate. So even in the quality mode, you can actually get almost 50 to 55 FPS in some scenes. Of course, the action heavy scenes are uh, going to be more demanding. So frames may drop. But what the PS5 does really well is that it holds the game together really well. So even in very highly demanding scenes, because this game has those action sequences where there are so many particle effects on screen. So it can get really demanding and the frames really vary between the low 40s over to the high 50s. All right. And that's when you actually start noticing changes with PlayStation VRR. And what it does beautifully is that it holds the game together really well so that you do not experience any screen tearing on a game like this. And if you've got a suitable monitor or a suitable television, for your reference, again, I'm mentioning that I am using this with my Samsung AU9070. So my Samsung AU9070 does a respectable job and it holds up really well. So these are the you know kind of games that I've actually played this PS5 VRR with. Uh, some are officially listed like Spider-Man, Godfall, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. These were all officially listed on Sony's website. Whereas, you know, games like Assassin's Creed or the games that I showed you in this video, Cyberpunk, Grand Theft Auto, WWE, Tales of Arise, these are not officially listed. So these are not official updates that these games have re uh, released. But obviously, Sony being a very popular platform, I'm confident that game developers will release update patch where they will support PS5 VRR. The only bummer to PS5 VRR is the fact that it actually does not support FreeSync. And that's why it actually cuts out the compatibility with so many of those monitors or televisions out there. That's why Xbox does such a better job because it supports FreeSync. So more monitors, more televisions can actually enjoy VRR on their televisions or monitors because of Xbox supporting FreeSync. Now the bummer is PS5 VRR does not, but hey, again, we still have a PS5 VRR. As far as my television goes, well, it totally supports VRR. And uh, I have been enjoying this. And I can tell you for sure, when I play a game like PS5, uh, sorry, games like Tales of Rise, I can experience the difference, all right? The difference is definitely there. And um, you will notice it. And it's appreciated. Especially for games like Tales of Rise or any other game which has unlocked frame rate. You will notice that difference. And if you have played these games and if on your screen you had experienced screen tearing as a result of the PS5 VRR update and this being pushed over to your television or to your monitor, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're going to notice that the, those screen tearing experiences would now go away because of the PS5 VRR. So with that said, well, it's a wrap for this video as well, folks. And if you have any questions about these games, about the PS5 VRR, then feel free to ask me in the comments section and also share your experiences with me. I would love to hear from you and um, know all about your experiences with PlayStation 5's VRR update. Now, if you have liked the content, then I will greatly appreciate if you could hit that like and subscribe button and also that bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos. With that said, again, it's a wrap for this one and I will see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I will say take care, stay safe and may God bless you lovely folks.